Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Preparation Ape, your number one place for... I'm getting tired of that one. This is, of course, every single Thursday night at 8.37 p.m. Central Standard <laughs> Time uh, here at twitch.tv slash chainslip. I'm DKP. I'm Major Tom. And, uh, yes, what do we have on the Residox tonight? I'm real excited about this one. Our very first episode of Preparation Ape, which was like August-ish last year. Mm -hmm. um, was a preview of the games that were coming out in the end of the last half of 2015. So uh, we're going to pay homage. Ah, homage. The homage. Yeah. We're going to pay some homage ah, yes. to, uh, this, to that episode by doing it for 2016. We're going to start a little early. Obviously, it's mid-July, so it's not quite fall yet. Well, um, you know. What's up, Edifee? Tomato, tomato. Well, love angry love. tomato, angry tomato. Uh, yes, we're gonna we're gonna do that this time. So we aptly named this episode the previews I mean, of coming attractions. It's not exactly spelled that way, but uh, well, you know. But this is all about big things. Disconnected, attempting to reconnect in five uh, seconds. That is on Chatty. We're good. Chatty's uh, a bitch. He was a bitch. Now, this is all about big things. Big things coming up. Big. Real big, big ones. Things coming up. Big games of 2016. There's a lot of smaller games, a lot of indie titles, a lot Man. of re releases and shit like that. We're only going to do the big ones. What a fucking American treasure. Joey Fatone and the Committer. That, sounds, that is a good band name. That is a good band name. In fact, we might rename Preparation Ape. That sounds wonderful. I think it does. Yeah. I, think, I think it really uh, describes perfectly what we're about. So, yes, uh, this guy. I, Look how handsome I just he can't looks. believe we got Tom Hanks in here. Yep. Oh. Special guest Tom Hanks. And I forgot Tom Hanks. We had space. I could have fucking at mentioned him in the tweet. Like, we should have. Yo, Tommy. This yo, one's yo, dedicated yo, to you. Yo, T Hanks. Much love. So, babes, fresh ass shades, Major Tom. Yes. Thank All you, right. baby queen. Well, I mean, I don't know if there's if we need too much more of a preamble before we nope. get into it's, it. Uh, I don't think it'll be a long one, but there's a good 30 games we're going through. So a lot of these games we've talked about at length prior to tonight, so we may not have tons to say on them. But uh, we gonna see. We gonna see. That face, only a mother could love. That's like a pet of face he's making right there. Like, hmm, I've gotten so big. You ever fucked a 13-year-old boy in a grown man's body? But you want to? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's continue on. All right, so this was just announced today that it is actually for real finished. This time, they finished right? it, yay! Uh, Sean Murray and Hello Games tweeted out a picture of them holding up the you know the finalized disc, the one that they're sending off to get produced. So uh, it's fine, le fine. So yeah, pretty exciting. Fine. Yeah, that too. Tomato. Fine. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is I, I, this is one of those games I think kind of like The Witcher. I was fortunate enough to not give a shit about it all yeah. the way until it released. Yeah, and hopefully it captivates me. Basically, it allowed me to skip the hype. Yeah, skip the horrible wait. Yes, right? it will be Pebbeth. It will in fact be on PC. <clears throat> Sorry, continue. Because at the moment, I really not looking forward to this. To be honest, I'm actually I'm really going nervous to about it. But since the planets are procedurally generated and anything that's procedurally generated, I feel like it lacks a certain level of quality. Yeah. Like video games. And I know that you get into a lot of procedurally generated games, but... Um, Preparation A is procedurally generated. No, there's a lot of fine-tuning and care. It took me forever to even to figure the out algorithm. how the fuck I wanted to do these. Uh, until I told you about it, says Idify. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for... Strong army me into playing The Witcher. Thank you. I, I do appreciate it. Um, so, but yeah, I'm really nervous because... Well, like, what is what is the objective of the game? There's going to be a lot of different objectives, so you can kind of play the game how you want to play it. Um, if you want to be... So there is no objective. I mean, the, the overarching objective is to get to the middle of the galaxy, which they say is going to take a very, very long time. And then there is something special. In the center of the galaxy. Something special. Or I guess the universe, not the galaxy, because galaxies are very small in comparison to universes. Curious if it will have aspects of spore in it. Um, you mean penis monsters? I think that people will see some form of spore inspiration, but... I mean, you could spot dicks if you look hard enough anywhere. 
I'm just worried about, like, so there are, supposedly it would take you, like, millions of years, real life years, to go to every planet in the game. So it is finite, it's not quite, like... Yeah, but it's like, alright, so you go, you it loads your shit, Yeah. and it's like, okay, this is a, this is a water world. Yeah. There's nothing to do here. You go underwater, and you have to explore. It's, it's time to leave. That's kind of what I... But, well, you can, like, okay, so you can, like, gather resources and materials and things like that, and then you can use those resources to, like, build, to, uh, you, you can, like, mine fuel, or you can mine, like, different types of, I guess, metals to be able to, like, upgrade your ships or do other things, um, like, building colonies and things like that. I don't think you can necessarily colonize a planet, but you can, like, build structures. But you, as far as I know, you're alone in this game. Like, I mean, well, you're not quite alone. Everybody's playing in the same world together. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And that it's kind right. of an MMO. Um, but supposedly, it's it's going to be very, very challenging to run into each other. Everyone starts on their like their everyone starts on their own planet. Um, so I guess not necessarily their own planet, but everybody gets they start in one place that nobody else is going to start. Um, all right. All right. Yep. Yeah. And I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it because outside of the question of, like, what the fuck do you do in this game, which I know a lot of the things you do, but how long can that sustain fun for is a big question for Well, we don't have a release date for it yet, do we? We do. August 9th. It's, oh, it's I'm a direct, fucking asshole. directly above Aren't us. Uh, all of these games, <laughs> at least the first, like, the, the first, like, 80% of the games that we're showing all have release dates. The last 20% do not have release dates. But they'll also be, like, fall 2016 or okay. October 2016. But everything, uh, you know, the first 80% of our episode will have a, an actual release date. Uh, now granted they may get pushed back but I don't see this one getting pushed back. Spore didn't ha didn't that game tank. The game did tank uh, and dicks dicks everywhere. Dicks and the Little Mermaid don't believe me look it up. I, I believe you. There are I've dicks. I've seen it. The, the preacher that has a boner and stuff like that and then there's like a dick on the cover Yeah that's, yeah. The, that's what I'm talking about Yeah. The creator uh, never imagined Eleven the penis imagined Eleven? Am I reading that right? The penis humor names that got used in No Man's Sky. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Translation error, I'm sure. Yeah. Who wants to party with them, Murphy? I do. I do as well. Can I, please? Can I? So yeah, a, uh, I don't really have anything else on No Man's Sky. Uh, uh, I'll wait for reviews, is what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, I'll definitely pick it up, but time will tell. All right. I don't know how much I'm going to get out of it, so. Well, I mean, you're going to be buying it anyways, since you're collecting every PS4 game. That's so. true. Wouldn't be a crime if uh, if you didn't get shit out of it, because, what, you bought Duck Dynasty? I do have Duck Dynasty. Just, just Dance? Or I dance, have every dance? Just Dance, yes. Yeah, you don't have, yeah fuck that. Alright. Deuce X. Man, Old Deus X. Divided. Uh, so, have you played any of these? I didn't ask for this. Uh, I played the originals, not to completion, uh, back then. And I tried to play the last one. Uh, went through this really long intro sequence mm -hmm. where, like, you know, shit happens, and then it's like, oh, my, I'm all fucked up. Now I'm a cyborg. I didn't ask for this. And it goes and it shows you all the fusing of the bones and all this garbage, right? Yeah. And I jumped off, like, an eight-foot ledge in the very beginning, and he just died. And I was like, <laughs> fuck this. I was like, what do you, what do you mean? I'm like, an, ooh, cybernetic enhancements. Yeah. But, you like, you fall eight feet. I, I don't know why. It was just, like, the big, like... It made me quit the game and not go back. I uh, I might give it another try. I hear the series is really good. You know, it's a first-person RPG. Um, people that I know that play it fucking love it. Kurt is here for the April prep. What up, What's up Kurt? Um, what I really liked, they had a trailer that released fairly recently. It was like a live-action trailer. And it was like showing, uh, like, this girl, she lost her arm, and she got a cybernetic arm. And then it was showing all these different people that had cybernetic limbs. And then people started turning against the people. I think some, one of the like limbs killed somebody or it started making them go crazy. So people started turning against them. So they started grabbing everybody that had cybernetic limbs and putting them and in camps. And then it divided mankind. Yeah, it basically. Was, mm, so it turned into like this ordeal, this civil war, this world war, so to speak, of, of uh, people that had like, mechanical limbs and had um, augmented biological features. They didn't ask for that. They didn't. You know, uh, so, Adam Jensen didn't ask for this game either. Uh, the trailer follows, like, a husband and wife, 
and it shows the two of them like get torn apart and she hurts him and then like she kind of comes out of it and then you know they fight for a little bit and then she ends up getting it putting into it so it's like total recall hand. yeah okay. similar to that yeah all right uh hey guys what's up dig dog it's in a couple of comments uh, it Real is not Winston. Here. it is you Let's see. Uh, Ankit says, there was an article I read where they let the users, and this is a reference to No Man's Sky, yeah. name things. Uh, then when the creators looked, they were like, what the fuck? All penis and dick references? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember reading something. The first creature that was uploaded to Spore was a dick. Yeah. Like, the very first As one. it should be. Uh, Pev says, I really enjoyed Deus Ex Revolution. Uh, but it took a while to get into it. I'm not a fan of games that you can't create your own character for. Uh, but the story for this one really got me interested. Like yeah. I said, I may go back and give it another try. Uh, I've heard great things. I have the first two on Steam. I still need to get the third one, I believe. And I think this is the fourth. If, I did if you didn't play the originals back when they came out, uh, they're going to feel way dated. I So, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about have you ever played a game for the first time that's kind of dated? And that was actually, like, it held up really well. Mm. And everybody was going around the room, and somebody said Deus Ex. And they were like, yeah, it held up really well. I was really surprised at how good it was. And somebody said the same thing about Half-Life. So Half-Life, yes. Deus Ex. Uh, I disagree. <clears throat> Wouldn't care. Yeah. I guess time will tell. James, this compliment your shades, and I I uh, starting the personal attacks early this evening. Uh, glad to, glad everything's it, moving along. All right, that is August 23rd. All right, so there's that. Anything else on Deuce X? Nope. Looks cool. Okay, uh, World of Warcraft Legion. I couldn't tell you a goddamn thing about this, so if you want to take the take the reins on this one. I suppose... <laughs> I don't know what to say either. Like, I know... All right, uh, fucking new expansion, uh, even less mechanics. So what they're doing in this one is uh, kind of the big thing. You had garrisons in the last one, which is kind of um, like a town feature, like your little personal like uh, player housing, mm -hmm. you want to call that, right? Uh, everyone kind of hated it because uh, so what the game essentially kind of turned into is you just bumming around your garrison mm -hmm. doing nothing. Um, so what they're doing this time is they're introducing class halls, uh, which is, like, if, if you're a paladin, let's say, right, <clears throat> you have a, like a class hall all to yourself. I, of course, this assumes that there's only one player character yeah, in the story, right? That's you. And uh, it'll be like the Scarlet Monastery or whatever, or some shit, and you get uh, legendary weapons per class. Now, look, I'm not... Uh, you... No, continue. I'm just doing it so we... So we yeah, 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 I'm not super stoked and fucking, you know... So why are you not super stoked for this? I'll, t I'll, I'll get to that. So, yeah. each each class, uh, yeah, yeah, of course, has their, has their uh, class hole and gets a, a main weapon, like, lore-wise, like... Uh, if you're if you're a paladin, I think you get the Ashbringer, which is like this legendary sword, right? Okay. And essentially, throughout the expansion, you just level that up as your weapon that you use. So you you get one weapon throughout your playthrough of. Yeah, I'm you sure there will be others you can use, but like they're like, well, if you don't like the way it looks, just transmog it, okay? Like just change what it looks like, and it's like okay. So the whole gear thing, right? Where where you'd really bust ass, like, oh, I want that piece of gear looks awesome, so you go for it. Fuck it, whatever. It, it's it's just it's simp it's simplifying it way too much. They are adding a new class, uh, which is Demon Hunter, which uh, actually it seems pretty cool. It looks mobile, yeah. like there's dodges and shit, kind of uh, or cool. sprints. So that's kind of different. Um, apart from that, uh, did you like Burning Crusade? Yep, you might like this one. Uh, environment wise, because it's uh, back to Outland ish. So Pev says they lost me at the pandas, but in the interest of open mindedness, are there any new classes or races? Uh, yes, no new races, but classes this time. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, that, that of course drops August thirtieth. I will probably play it yeah. just to level a character up, just to just to experience it. And then yeah. I, I don't. Think that'd be a cool stream. Simply I mean, don't I know, have time to. Uh, I know, you know MMOs aren't anymore, the best but... thing to stream. But I like our channel having a lot of variety. I to probably it, wouldn't so. put it as a main mainstream, but like yeah, an not extra like an every every day kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Dig Dug says you can play as a fell demon hunter. Yep. Uh, let's see. I'll stick to my swatter. Yeah. Um, legacy, so legacy of Soulcraft. We don't want to talk about legacy servers yet. That is, of course, the whole Nostarius thing. Uh, I think it really it, it's. 
people are more excited for the potential of that than they are this fucking new expansion, which is like, oof. Ugh. Sorry, buddy. Uh, who knows? Yeah, people are still into that vanilla shit, though. Yeah, that's the what I mean, the legacy uh, server. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this could be fucking great. It could be exactly what the game needs. Uh, or it's just going to further divide the player base between those who uh, want, who enjoy the casual experience and those who think the game's way too fucking easy to test. So. Yeah. All right, that's, uh, that's it for, uh, for WoW, WoW well, I'm Craft. excited for the people who are excited for it. Yes. And Same sad thing. for the people who... All right, so moving right along to, uh, let's see, we got, uh, you got your Bioshock collection. Uh, at least there's one good game in this collection. There's <laughs> one pretty good game in this collection, and there's one game that should have been good in this collection. It's so shitty that they even say, like, we're not even going to remaster it. We think it looks fine the way it is. No, th- aren't they remastering it? Not Infinite. Oh, Infinite, I don't know. Yeah. No, the other, the other two are getting, are getting the remaster. Uh, Jake um, Dig Dug's been talking to me about playing through Bioshock, so... As soon as this comes out, I'll definitely uh, play through the first one again. Because she's never again. played it. Oh, okay. She's never played it. I've played through it. Oh, it's a couple of great. Times. First one's tremendous. Second one is, uh, it's like, eh. The second one's not we bad. We knew it couldn't be as good as the first one. And that's kind of the deal. It's and like, then it's still, the it's still a lot garbage. of the great, it's still a lot of the stuff that makes the first one really, really good. The story's n- just not quite there. Like, it's, it's, it's the, uh, Fear the Walking Dead to the original Walking mm-hmm. Dead. Like, it's cool. But it's not it's not the original. So Yeah. What's pretty cool is um if you if you own these on PC, by the way, uh, you get a free upgrade to the uh um remastered edition. Uh I really like the box art that shows like the tower with yeah. Columbia above and Rapture below. I thought that was really cool. It's pretty cool there. Yeah. James yeah. says he played the first Bioshock, uh never got to the rest. Well play the second one. It's worth playing. I would play the second one, yeah. The, the second third one, one fucking don't waste your time. You know, uh, the second one allows you to, I and mean, we won't get too much into anything, any spoiler territory for the first one or either of them for that matter, but the second one allows you to, like, be a, a big daddy, so to speak, throughout a good portion of the game. Yeah. And there are a lot of parts where you actually get to go underwater in a suit. I thought those parts it's, were pretty cool. Two is solid. It's yeah. it's not the masterpiece one was, but yes. Uh, no, this is... It's it's great to know more people will play these. Yeah. Uh, it's good to be able to... It will be good to be able to go back and play the first one, which still looks pretty fucking decent today. For sure. Right? Um, but have it remastered. Uh, Dr. Butts says, Can I get the collection without Infinite? Uh, you wish, baby. <clears throat> nope. uh, but apart from that, I mean, I don't have much else to say on this. Uh, Except Zero. I think it's I think it's a fine idea. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck Bioshock Infinite. Yep. Uh, I think that's most of the world's consensus. But what's crazy is, is Bioshock Infinite really should have been good. Like the world was beautifully designed. Dude, I was all fucking, the trailers. I was oh, incredibly it's, hyped. I had it was the game. most excited I've ever been for a fucking video game. Damn, most like, excited. That was like your Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah, Shit. I've never been more excited for a video game. And it was like, wait, where's the time travel stuff? Wait, I thought that she was supposed to like hang out and talk to you the whole game. Wait, I thought it was open world. I thought these powers would be useful. Yeah. But instead, I thought there I'm just would be more powers. At people constantly. Oh, it man. It was just so much hype. Those, and there was talk- those, those handymen. Yeah. No. Or, or like Songbird. It's like, oh my god, Songbird looks so terrifying, so menacing. And then Songbird is worthless. He's a bitch. He is a bitch. Songbird, you so bitch. <laughs> you so bitch. <laughs> Party Rock in the house tonight. Uh, James says, in fact, no, wait, I played the second one. I just don't remember anything about it. Yes, that's, it's not that's memorable. Actually, that's a, that's Thanks the perfect for summing way up to for describe us. it. Yeah, that's the perfect <laughs> way to describe it. All right, so yeah, uh, pick it up. It's worth it. You get it on PC. Well, luckily, lucky, you know, lucky for you, you get a free upgrade. Um, Spoiler alert! Don't gosh. play Infinite. Yeah, and, we're, and, we're, and spoiling we're, Infinite is like doing you a favor. Yeah, ruin that game for anybody as much as possible to prevent them wasting their time on it. And we're moving on before yeah. I start getting upset about Bioshock. <laughs> All right, Recore. Recore. I am so fucking excited for this game. I can't be. I don't know. Like this, this looks like. Hey, you guys want to make a Bioshock game? What, but what, we don't own the IP. Yeah. Just what kinda, it looks to me like do it anyway. is a new version of Jet Force Gemini. It's got like platforming and shooting. Just, it's and it's the, gonna have puzzle it's the elements. Fucking, and... But it's the desert shit though. It's like eh. I don't want to play another brown game. Right? But look how colorful all the characters look. Look at the blues. Look in the background. It's brown in the sky. Yeah, it's a pretty blue sky. They're trying to do the fucking blue and orange contrast. 
complimentary color thing. Look, I'm not shitting on this game. I'm just saying, like, I'm personally not interested. Uh, that could change. It could. I could see gameplay footage that could really turn me around. Could get rave reviews, but yeah. currently, I'll be waiting. Uh, Xbox said this might be the spiritual successor to Mega Man. Paint says, I finally beat mine at number nine. It didn't get better. Uh, so, w- it's made by some guys who were working on Metro Prime and they left. I can't think of the name of the studio right now. But they are here in Austin, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Um, DKP is racist. He doesn't want to play brown games. That's fucked up. Man, you got me dead to rights. <laughs> you did get him dead to rights. You should play through uh, Spec Ops The Line, though. That game is fucking legit. <clears throat> you should stream that one day. That's the game I should have like got you to stream. All right. All right. Uh, heard that there's one in a war for grappling on some show or another. Yeah. You might have uh, but yeah, heard there's... that somewhere. Saw that somewhere. So you've got this orb thing that basically gives whatever robot you have AI. And you got to give them robots AI as much as you possibly yeah, can. Yeah, them robots got to get it. So <clears throat> you take it and you can put it in different ones. There's like a mech one and there's a crab one, a butt of kelps. There's the dog one. So it looks cool. Um, a lot of people aren't super stoked for it. It's only 40 bucks. So there's two things when it comes to games that are $40. Number one, like, hey, that's cheap. But number two, it's like, we think the, the publishers, developers, they're going, we think this game is worth $40. So anytime you tell me that your game is worth $40 the day it comes out, I'm always a little like, that's a $40 yeah. game. That's not a $60 yeah, game. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there was a director who who, who said that, uh, it's like certain scenes, well, that's, that's a, that's a $10 scene. Yeah. Or whatever, but like a, like the climax, or whatever, but like that's a $100 scene. Like, yeah. That's a $40 game. That is this a $60 is a $40 game. game. You should have sold it to me for 60. I probably would have liked it more, but I'm excited for it. Um, I'm definitely going to stream it. This game does not look fun for me at all. It really doesn't appeal to old James. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of a I don't know if kind of a niche haggis. game, to be honest. <clears throat> 40 bucks, and you get Banjo-Kazooie with it, too. Do you? I didn't know that. I don't think you do. It's not made by Rare. Uh, Whatever. Qu- quit lying. You a bitch. Quit you lying. I don't know if that explains why DKP didn't want to play Telltale's Walking Dead. Yeah. Hey, fuck you, I'm on Team Lee. Always have been, bitch. Uh, I got nothing else on this one. Yeah, um, I'm good. I'm excited for it. We'll wait I'll for stream reviews. It. I'll, uh, but you'll see I it here. Wait. I won't wait for reviews. I actually pre-ordered this one. All right. Well, September 13th, look out for it. That is record coming to what? Xbox One and PC. All right. There you go. All right, we got uh, Dragon Quest. <laughs> Dragon Quest Seven. So <laughs> Dragon Quest Seven came to PS2, I believe, uh, um, in like 2004, 2005. So they're releasing all the... Dragon Quest 7 and 8 on 3DS. And this is the first one that's coming to it. So, um, I, you know, played Dragon Warrior back in the day, which is how is this when the they best changed artwork the name. you could find. Uh, maybe not the best, but I liked it. You got a problem with it? I don't know if they can see it. Hold on. If they can see the artwork? Yeah, this fucking dude. Oh. This I just, I really don't like that. Look at that guy. There's, something, that face. there's something about him. I'm just not a fan. I'm, I, I really like the art style for all the Dragon Quest games. Wow, Dragon Akira. Ball looks like shit these days. <laughs> well, they're Akira Toriyama, <laughs> so it's the same artist who uh, did Dragon Ball. It looks like uh, if Dragon Ball Z and Legend of Zelda had a baby. So this is Dragon Quest Seven that's coming to 3DS. So it's a port of an older game. Dragon mm-hmm. Quest Eleven is like the newest one. So there's like four Jesus games. Christ. Yeah. We're getting Dragon Quest Eight, I believe, next year. And then Dragon Quest XI is coming to PS4 and um, NX, a couple of other things. Ah. Artify says, uh, sorry, Jams, uh, but you're a... I'm sorry, Jams, uh, but your appeal doesn't really apply in this channel. You eat haggis and fuck sheep. <laughs> yep. Line of the day. Told your mom that Jumper made her look like an animal. All right. Just br- brutalize him. <laughs> Moving on. Here. Uh, December 23rd, Forza Horizon 3. Now, uh, I am so, so, so excited for this game. They showed it off at E3. It takes place in mm-hmm. Australia. Uh, it's going to have all the fun multiplayer modes and things like that. There's the two modes. I think I've talked about them on stream before. But King Mode, which is basically like tag, where you start off in an arena <laughs> and somebody starts off as the king or their it. And then they have to drive around and tag Someone somebody else. Someone is the pleb. So the goal is to tag somebody, and whoever is it the least amount of time until the timer gets to, like, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you set it to. You're not just uh, describing tag, right? No, it's tag. Okay. It's tag, but with timers. Okay. Tag with timers and with cars. So it's it's super fun. And then there's uh, infection mode, which is, like, zombies. It's like tag, except uh, when you tag someone, 
they become a zombie and then they have to try to get everybody else. So it starts with one zombie and ends with everybody, like one person left and the last person standing wins. Uh, they're both extremely fucking fun. Both of those okay. games. Are- I'll trust you. Because it sounds like the way you describe that sounds exactly. You probably had that exact same talk as a fucking kid with your friends. Like, okay, check it out. <laughs> All right, here, guys, this is how, how it's going to go. In order to unfreeze yourself, you have to run between their legs. Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> goofy shit. Yeah. It's just funny because it's like, all right, so in this fucking game, you do all sorts of shit. You're a car, and you tag people. And there's other games kind of like tag. It's basically like tag, but it's, but for, for keepsies. But then it's like, there's this other tag. And it's like, because what, what do you do in a fucking car? It's got, like, it's got a very, like, it's a super robust, like, single player mode. There's, like, collectibles, and there's different types of races. It's uh, a lot of different options. And this one's going to have full cooperative play throughout the entire campaign. So you and friends in a giant. Like, it's an open-world game. <laughs> it must have been um, really hard to code in, having another car there. <laughs> no, this does actually look good. I'm not into racing games, but the uh, driving through the forest uh, demonstration we saw at uh, yeah. E3, actually, I might give this one a try. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll bring it over and we'll do a stream of it. What, uh, what platforms is it coming to? Uh, Xbox One and PC. There you have Similar it. Similar to Record. They got some good games coming out this year. Uh, can you listen to the radio? I I don't I don't recall. I usually just put like. Music well, lucky on. for you, finally, you Xbox One owners can have background music. You can put your cassette tape in it and play the music. Yeah, I defy you can, but I wouldn't. I would, you bitch. All right, well, uh, maybe uh, maybe Major Tom will do a uh, James uh, birthday stream when this comes out. Yep, sounds good. All right, moving on. I wear two pairs of glasses. Got uh, you got your Final Fantasy fitting here. You know, uh, that's the one. Thumbs up, baby. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited about this. We've talked about Just this at nauseum almost. Um, yeah, so we're not going to spend too much time on it. But I am surprised as fuck you're excited for a Final Fantasy yeah, game. I don't play Final Fantasy nope. games. Much to my dismay. Uh, I played the shit out of the episode Dusk Gay. Dues Gay. Dues Guys. Dues Gay. To- dose, it's like Dues Gays downtown, you know? Dose guys is Dues gay. I don't know. It's Dues gay. You have to have to say Dues like gay. Dues gay. Yeah, you gotta get it. Dues. You gotta throw it in. Dues gay. You gotta push in so, your chips. What? Fuck. You don't do shit for my birthday, and I don't fuck animals. Well, right. you didn't fucking tell us before, and it was gonna be your birthday, so we could do a stream. Shit. We gave away some codes, Dues and we gay. dedicated it uh, to you, Idify. And we got a picture of you when we put that in yeah, the baby. episode. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, Papa, Papa Ape's gonna. Curious how Final Fantasy 15 combat feels in the game itself. To be honest, it felt much better, better in Deuce Gay than it did in uh, the second demo they came out with, the Platinum demo. You mean the one where you play as a child? Yes, the one where you play as a child, exactly. Uh, yep, very hyped for it. I got the collector's edition pre-ordered, which was like two hundred and eighty fucking dollars. But uh, I'm excited. Well, hopefully, it, I, it's either gonna be like the next fucking big thing. Or it's going to tank fucking poorly. Yeah, it's going to fizzle out. They said it has to sell 10 million copies for them to recoup the cost of the last two. Just to break even? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Now, I I've, I've maybe have never seen a game company push a fucking RPG this goddamn hard, though. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. They're, they're they got confident the in anime, it. and they got that animated movie coming out. So, King's Glaive. They're trying, Two man. demos. Two Jeez. demos. They're trying. They're trying. They're... Make Final Fantasy great again. Hey, man. I want to be there. I'd if I was not digging it. Uh, I will be picking it up. Uh, for a minute, it doesn't get, like, just awful reviews. Yeah. I don't think it will. Uh, I don't either. <clears throat> I'm more curious if it's a game that's a 9 or a game that's a 10. Like, I'd be very shocked if it got below an 8 on Metacritic. Well, let's, here's hope. Because I want even if this game sucks, I want it to sell well. Yep. Otherwise... Final Fantasy VII Remake might be compromised as well. Zeriel says, is anybody else playing Pokemon Go? I'm not playing it yet. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really... I think uh, everyone else I don't Earth get out much right these now. days at the moment, so... <laughs> uh, the first person died playing it yesterday, and it came out yesterday. What? A kid walked off a bridge while looking for a Pokemon. Hopefully, I'm looking forward to trying it out. <laughs> uh, man, that magic card better have been worth it. All right, moving on. We got uh, Mafia 3. Holy fuck. Oh, Am fuck. I excited for this? Yeah. This looks fucking tremendous. Even seeing the screenshot. Just looking at it. Yep. Never been to New Orleans. I'm, I'm sure as fuck never been to what? 
1970 New Orleans? Have well, you? If, you, if you can go to New Orleans, that's the one to go to. The 1970s one is on point. Yeah, exactly. So, story. This looks like a. It's like fucking Max Payne. You know, I. Maybe this is just a part of like being like a male, but I fucking I, I cannot ever get enough just good old revenge stories. Yeah, I know. It's too good. Someone say. Boner hype says Doctor Butts. Hell fucking yes. So, uh, you play as a guy who is of. Multiple races. I think he's black, white, and something else. I think like, he's just black. I think he's black and Mexican, maybe. His he's, name's he's a couple Clay. of different races. Well, his dad's black. We saw that in the trailer. Okay. So he comes home from Vietnam, and he's in like yeah. a racial tensions. Nineteen seventies New Orleans. Uh, yeah. Some mafia group. I don't know if it's quite a mafia group, but some group of like a gang, so to speak, uh, mm-hmm. kills the majority mm-hmm. of his family. So it's a vengeance thing where he decides to form his own mafia family and uh, take everybody else down. And it looks brutal as fuck. Like the close-up kill animations and stuff. Really, really cool looking. I'm a little He's nervous about the... White. Okay. I'm a little nervous about the, uh, the open world like driving portions of it. Because those were... I'm not going to say the weakest part of the first two Mafia games, but they weren't as good as they are in a lot of other sure, open world games. I think instead of, like, what, 1940s New York, that's neat, but yeah. this is... No game has really done this setting before. Yeah. Outside of, what, Gabriel Knight? But that wasn't a fucking open world game. Yeah. So, yeah, there's this. Um, wait, you're a male? I thought you were transitioning into he a is. male. Yeah. What's up, Texas boy? Uh, slow process. That means he will never be a made man. Get it? Old Goodfellas reference. Give them ribs. Get the f- <laughs> uh, Mafia looks choice. Uh, what's up, Texas boy? No, this game. I I I don't have anything more to say about it. We talked about it three <laughs> we, or four we times. We have talked about it so eight. much. It's, it's it's probably the preparation mm-hmm. a like most anticipated game right now for me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm a made man, and I make offers you shouldn't refuse. So yeah, uh, we're not going to talk about Mafia Three again. I commit to you and to you. We will not talk about it again until we come This is out. like the podcast, uh, best, Be- best best gaming moments, mo- best yeah. moments, okay. whatever. Yeah, all over again. All right, moving on. Paper Mario Color Splash. I'm actually really excited for this one. Number yeah. one, it looks really awesome. Like, if you look at this particular picture, see how the walls and stuff are made out of cardboard, and you can see, like, the in- inside of the piece of cardboard? I'm, yeah, I'm really stoked for that. Like, everything is paper craft. So, and uh, mm. Paper Mario games are just super rad. This so. one's got nothing to do with stickers, right? No stickers. There are cards in it, though. There are cards. It's not going to be your only source of attack, is it? Uh, I don't think so. They do some cool stuff where, like, you can play a card that's like a oscillating fan, and the fan will show up like a ginormous fan that looks like a real plastic or like metal fan will show up in the background. So it's almost like a summer, and huh? Everything will look like, look like it's hit by a hurricane. All right. Looks good if you like Mario. Yeah. That James says, uh, <clears throat> I made a man an offer. He refused. Uh, it was Haggis. Something very important so to note. Shit out of my face. This is the only Wii U game that's made by Nintendo that's coming out in 2016. Like, that's wow. left. This is the only one. There is no Speaking other Wii of, U Nintendo game did, for did the you, rest of the Did you read the article about Miyamoto? Pissed off that nobody likes Starcraft. Uh, sorry, Star Fox. Star Fox. Zero, yeah. Uh, it's his own fault. I don't understand. It's fucking new and exciting and innovative. Don't you guys fucking get that? Yeah, it's a it's fun and a new and exciting way to play. New Paper Mario makes me depressed. I miss the RPG Paper Mario games. Those were definitely the best. Paper Mario 1 and 2 were super awesome. The rest of them are just... Uh, yeah, I really feel like they... But if, they, looks, if they wanted to take that away, they should have made it into a new series. Yeah. Like, you can still keep it paper. But don't just preface it with Paper Mario. Call it something else. Yeah. Something new. Yeah, because uh, I think I bought Sticker. Sticker Star Saga. Yeah. No, Sticker Star. And I had no idea Just exactly how fucking different it was. And boy, was my ass chapped. James L says, I fucking hate Mario. Take the compliment for the shitty game franchise and move on or else. Or else. Or else. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make you drink some herb, bruh. I need to get some hammer, hammer. All right. Uh, so this comes out October 7th. Yep. Uh, sorry, I will be uh, too busy playing this. Yep. <laughs> they uh, really fucked up on their release date, I think. I mean, not really. There's kind of two different markets. No, I might give. You, you this would a try. not. 
You would not give that a try. I might. If I tell you it's amazing, you'll give it a I try. I might. But I'm certainly fucking not that. now. Yeah. It's so, like that yeah. Mad Max MGS5 thing. It's like, ah, well, sorry, Mad Max. I'll play you in 2016. You're done goofed. Yeah. Reminds me of Little Big World. Little Big Planet. I think it's probably what it's coming. Whichever. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that is October 7th on Wii U only. Yep. So yeah, look out for it. Uh, Be on the lookout. Major Tom trolls DKP again. High five. Gears of War 4. October 11th. Uh, this is actually fairly soon. It's like right around the corner. I'm a, I'm uh, a, I'm a dead that item. You're not going to play that co-op with me? I might play co-op with you. But <clears throat> in general, I don't, I don't know I don't know at what point I was like, oh. Something about these games with giant fucking... These large, Unreal Engine or Unreal Tournament looking like... Yeah, dudes fucking... Yeah. Oh, we're a do-rag. My name's Marcus Phoenix. Yeah. Like, okay. It, it just kind of lost me. I was like, I don't... This was cool. I don't know what happened, but now it just looks fucking kind of weak. I agree that, like, games with dude bros had a time and place, and that time and place is not 2016. But I'm still real excited for it. Yeah. So, the gameplay is always excellent in these games. I'll tell you what, though. The E3, like, video demonstration did not impress me. I didn't walk away from that video being like, oh my god. Neither, neither did the fucking one the year prior. No, the one the year prior, prior was dope because it was super, it was super I didn't, dark. I didn't like it. It, like, it, it was, looked like... Bleh. I gave it... It looked that. a lot more like survival horror. And this one does, like... By the time this trailer came out. We should go back and rewatch that first trailer because I think you'd think it looks better than the second. Because the first one... The first trailer, like I said, it was very, very dark, and it had a horror feel to it. I'm going to trust you, but... Now, the game yeah. itself, I don't know if it's going to play or look like that. It's just... I don't know, and, and their reveal of, like, but it's old Marcus Phoenix, and it's like... Yeah, yeah we got Kratos. Fuck <laughs> you. Like, what's the deal yeah, with the all shit. these games where people are coming out of the shadows with beards now? Yeah. I can tell you're old because you have a beard. <gasps> And it's got gray. We need a way to make Solid Snake old. Give him a mustache. I've been watching Rick and Morty. I've come to the decision the first season of the show is the best. I like I like the second season. But let us uh, let us continue on. We get a lot to get through here. Let us. That is uh, oh by the way that is of course October eleventh. Xbox One and PC. In reality, uh, you should still probably be playing uh, this Mafia three at that mm-hmm. point. Yeah. But uh, hey, man, want to be there? Yeah. So, moving on to PSVR. PSVR, bro, October 11th, two days after Gears 4. So, uh, I hope I can beat Gears 4 in two days, because... Actually, I don't know, like, PlayStation VR, and what you and I have experienced with VR, and we should do a VR, like, three months later, what do we think? Because oh, I'm sure we will. Because VR is still very cool, it's still the future, I still feel the same way, but I'm a little bit less excited about it than I was. It is a hassle. I mean, like, a lot of times I'm too tired. I'm like, uh, do I really want to move everything out of the way? Um, but here, here, here's where I think, like, the real crux of it is. There's just no real games for it yet. 90% of them are kind of tech demos, mostly. Yeah. Right. And the ones that are, like, super close to real games, they kind of feel weird to play. Like, you feel... <laughs> so, uh, Lucky's Tale, which, granted, when I started playing, I was standing up. So it made, like, it kind of gave me, like, a vertigo, like, waving back and forth right. feeling. And then that wind game, when I played that, I got that sensation. You said you didn't get that sensation from it, right? No, I did. Okay. Not to the point where I thought I was going to fall over necessarily. Dude, I almost fell over, like, 12 times. It's because you're uh, some bitch. I guess so. But... <clears throat> team more like major bitch. But that's... <laughs> but that, I think that's going to be one of the challenges. Like, motion. Motion in VR is... Yeah. It's... Challenging to overcome as an obstacle. Uh, games that sold out PSVRs, pre-orders. Yeah, okay. The boy that, got one. That's the thing, and, and I'm kind of fucking annoyed about this. Like, I have the Vive, which works yeah. just fine for my purposes. Yeah. But, I'll probably be buying a PSVR. Do you want to know why? Resident Evil 7? Because I've been fucking strong I'm into buying it. Because of exclusives. I mean, it's the same sort of thing with consoles. I know. But I didn't want to have to fucking... I didn't want don't get me wrong, do I, don't disagree, I don't disagree. Like, it sucks. Because I want to get a Vive as well. And how PSVR should... So be sufficient enough for me, but I want to get a Vive eventually. I think I'm gonna get like the second version of it. Or right. Uh, just pre-ordered that Slim Xbox is out of five. Then he's gonna get the Scorpio when that comes out. Yeah. Get I out mean, of here, dude. I was totally sold on buying the Slim Xbox. I was like, oh, 
Like, all my consoles are white, so I was like, oh, it'll be white, it'll fit in perfectly, it's smaller. Because my current one fits, like, right up against the walls of the inside of my entertainment center. What? What? I hate when you do that shit. Uh, <laughs> so, it, it, it gets hot easily. Um, so, I'm excited about it being a little bit smaller. I was like, oh, I'm definitely getting that. And then by the end of the show, they're like, yeah, you don't want here's, hurt, you know? here's the Scorpio. <laughs> it'll be out a year Give from now. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, continue. So, Scorpio they shut now. off the Scorpio, and now I'm like, well, I guess I'm not buying the slim one. Like, I'm not going to spend 300 four. It's four hundred dollars for the uh, two terabyte, which was the main one because mm-hmm. I, I uh, basically had a hard drive space. So I know you can delete games, but it's an inconvenience, especially since I only play exclusives on it. But it's like, hey, get this new hotness. Got a new controller. It's gonna be super sexy. And then they're like, by the way, there's another one come out in a year if you just want to wait. It's like, man, you sold me and like lost me in the span of thirty minutes. Trade my broken Xbox to GameStop because they suck. Uh, but yeah, PlayStation <laughs> VR comes out October thirteenth. I'm really excited to see kind of what and the launch what's lineup the price, is. What's the price point on it again? It's 399 US dollars. Um, and that is it just, just the headset. I know I'm going to have to fucking buy it because of Resident Evil. Yeah. That's okay. just the headset itself. I have to. But in order for it to do the tracking, like in order to play everything, like the head tracking and stuff like that, similar to what you do with the Vive, you have to buy a camera and you have to buy the move controllers. Oh, really? And now, don't get me wrong, the camera is 60 bucks and the move controllers. You can get them used for ten bucks each. Sure, um, but that's sure. potentially another hundred dollars. I think I threw my camera away, but I might have. Oh well. Well, I have a couple extra move controllers, so I'll throw them your way. What's up, Delicious? Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm really excited to see what the launch lineup. I I pre-ordered the one that comes with the the move two move controllers, a camera, and PlayStation VR Worlds, which is like a bunch of different games. There's an underwater game similar. What is yours called? The Blue? The oh, Deep. yeah, it's just called The Blue. So the one that comes on PlayStation VR is called The Deep, I think. Oh. Same sort of thing. Um, and then there's one, I think it's called Luge? Is it that where you like lay on a board and you go down a hill? What's yeah, that called? yeah. <clears throat> That's called Luging. Okay. Getting, getting some I'm sweet gonna, nard So nard I'm nard definitely going to be, I'm going to be a, a loser. Get it? Get it? You don't get my ribs. I just did that. It doesn't work that way. I just did. No. You might have you might have experienced the illusion of getting high ribs. I like how you block they, it because you don't like it, do you? I'm not just gonna let you do it. You don't let me do it. So I want to fuck what I. You're like it's it's imbalanced in the system. In order for something to happen to me, it has to happen to them too. It's an eye for an eye, bro. Come on. You would lose, you douche. I'm very excited about that lose game actually. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's see. Uh, so yeah, that's a uh, PSVR that is coming out on the thirteenth of October. Idify says, "I could ban you, Delicious. Why are people hating on Delicious? Because she's complimenting Jams out, probably. Oh yeah, because she's saying <laughs> that he's sexy. All right. Uh, so she uh, must have not ever seen a picture of him. Am I right? It's she's a big old haggis log. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to uh, the last the guardian. The first guardian, yeah. Uh, so my question is. Do you think this game is going to be good? No. <laughs> Do you think it's going to live up to the 10 years no. it took to develop it? No. Do you think this game is going to disappoint people? Yes. Glad I waited. Let's move on. All right. <laughs> we got uh, we got uh, we got your Battlefield 1. I'm you very know, excited uh, about this. <laughs> Major Tom with Jam's house ribs. Give me them ribs. Who knew it was actually coming out? Well, yeah, at some point, they're just like, ah, you know what? Fuck it. Just get it out there. Yeah, just put it out. Can we please move on? I'm tired like, of looking at this. It's 30 minutes long. They're like, ah, who cares? I'm sick They'll... of looking at this fucking bird People thing. This bird it. dog. I hate it. I hate this little kid. It, it's like, it's like, you get you know the uh, car uh, Cars for Kids commercial? Cars for Kids? It's the worst radio no. advertisement ever. No, I don't. No. It's like, one something, something, Cars for Kids. What is kid? cars for kids? You fucking donate your car to a kid? Like how yeah, old they the give kid? it to? I don't know. I don't think I don't think you get a sponsor. Like, 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 a bunch of... like it shows you a picture. <laughs> yeah. I want it to be like uh, I'm I'm giving a I pledge he, to he, it. He, he, every he, month. They write you. Yeah, a letter he writes you a letter, and it's like this weekend. DMA to Tom. I went to Sonic and I got a cheeseburger. I, I spilled a drink in the in, in my car. <laughs> Thank you. I Let burned a go. hole in the seat. Yeah, here's a like, picture of said. But hole. it's like. I hate I hate cars now. I hate kids. 
It's just <laughs> it's made me collectively it's, it's, hate cars and kids. It's fucking done everything. That's what I feel like this. Oh, like the first Guardian. Yeah, back. I hate children. I hate birds and dogs. Fucking. How can you hate birds? I hate. And I hate. Dogs. I hate bloom effects. Fuck it. Uh, but uh, yeah, we get to we got your Battlefield One here. Battlefield One looks cool. It looks fucking great. I'm uh, very excited about it. Once again, I'm very, I'm excited that kind of in the way of Mafia Three. Not saying we've never World War One's never been done before. Just it's never been done well. Yeah. I mean, we haven't seen a game like this. I really like the like the melee stuff. You get to kill people like a shovel or a little hatchet. Yeah, fuck nice. Little hatchet man. You gotta get yeah, a right? shovel. Who wants to kill somebody with a knife when you can kill them with a shovel? It's a Shovel Knight fan's dream. It is a Shovel Knight fan's dream. Shovel Knight 2. Or Shovel Shovel Knight 1. How about you press next and Daze pops up. And I can okay, you. terrific. Daisy. Man, we ain't, we ain't advertising for no Daisy. I said big games. They will advertise for cars for kids. <laughs> By the way, it's a scam. Though. We'll talk about Dragon Quest Seven, a 10-year-old <laughs> game coming to 3DS. Well, they have nothing we, to say about Daisy. We ain't talking about them days. You guys aren't excited for space combat? What? Oh. Uh, Call of Duty Infinite Blah Blah. Uh, we're going to get to that one, actually. <laughs> we're going in chronological order of dates. Very hyped for a Battlefield 1. It looks great. Well, it's also I haven't been this smart. excited for a Battlefield game since Bad Company 2. It's also extremely smart of them to uh, hit it early. Yeah. You know. So good I mean, fucking October 21st good isn't super early. They always come out in October. Eh. But, uh, yeah. Eh. All right, uh, we'll be playing. You will see this uh, here at Chainsaw when it comes out. Yeah. Civilization Six, uh, Gandhi's Revenge. Doug, Doug, Doug Gain. Did were, have you and I talked about on stream about the Gandhi stuff? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. so. How it's Gandhi a, like? They, well, yeah, he was like coded incorrectly or something. Yeah, he was coded incorrectly to have like zero aggression. Yeah, but like he, I guess no, like when a, when a variable gets taken down it, it to zero or. Four zero it just rolls around to the highest yeah. possible number. So Gandhi, <laughs> so, Gandhi so is the like most the badass, most, the most brutal, aggressive warlord. Yeah. As there's a, be. where's the band? Is, 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 is it from what UHF when Gandhi pulls out the guy's heart or whatever? And it's like <laughs> Gandhi too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a sneak preview for Civilization Six, some <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's that's potentially one of one of my favorite like, <clears throat> gaming jokes. You know, like uh, the, so. I have never played a Civ game. Me neither. But I know console people, like people that only play console games, that Civ is the only PC game they play. Like, they play PC just to play Civ. And they're all big fans. So I might give this one a try. I finally have a PC that can run it at the way it deserves to be ran, so... You ready to get your it, butthole tore up by Gandhi? I am, actually. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> what? Ha <laughs> ha! Why? We just Jesus. released the wrong trailer first. Oh, yeah, that was... That fucking... Did you feel... All right, side by side. And, you know, I was actually... I was listening to uh, some of their sort of gaming-related stuff. Might have been Easy Allies or something. I don't know. Yeah. But someone else called shenanigans on a Battlefield... I'm sorry, the, the new Call of Duty trailer. Like I did. Like, the new and, like, the one that came out during E3? The yeah. gameplay? Yeah. Where you play the mission? Yeah. Okay. It's like, wait a minute. So the first thing you showed us looked like complete shit. And this looks incredible. And this looks like looks like it's on the Frostbite engine almost. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I'm calling shenanigans. But uh, we will see. Yeah. I uh, play Call of Duty every year, so I'll definitely uh, By the way, thank you very much for all. overheats and melts those amazing shades, then maybe you'll talk about Daisy. I have five I'm gonna buy this game just so uh, I can see my little civilization. Show me what you got. Uh, make them dance for their lives, so to speak. So no, uh, there was there. Was, uh, what game was it? I think it was Tropico. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> where basically you play as like a dictator, right? And I had a, a buddy of mine had like the shittiest town ever. It was just all shanties all mm -hmm. over the place with a giant Ferris wheel in the middle. And he was like, come bow before the Ferris wheel of oppression. <laughs> it was fantastic. It sounds really cool. Those are, the, those are the cool things you can do in these games. Uh, minus, you know, the whole Gandhi thing. But uh, I digress. So yeah, that comes out on October 21st. Uh, I might get it. I don't know if I'm ready to tackle something as time-consuming. For sure. As Civilization. And really, like, I, I hope it doesn't suck me in. I hope I don't like it, but I, I, I want to I hope I don't get sucked off by it, but if it happens, it happens, you know? It happens. All right. Either. 
Uh, let's see. I only play Civ to romance all the female rulers so I can rule every empire. That's where you gotta start. I Civ like 5 is a Game of Thrones us. mod. We're checking that out. Checking out for that alone. You are now Indeed. ice water tea. Ice water tea? What? I don't know, but I like it. Hey, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. And anyways, so instead of so DayZ, we're, we're going to be talking about... Mana. <laughs> we're going to be talking about World of Final Fantasy, because this game is way bigger than DayZ. Uh, yep. Invisible Beer makes another... Chibi... Appearance? Chibi Final Fantasy. Yeah, chibi characters. Uh, which... Inherently, whatever, man. But I hear this game is like 300 hours, dude. To see fucking Cloud Strife up there, it just... <laughs> Jay Dig Dug, just I did. will fucking crush you. She says, we can prove Major Tom sucks mathematically. Oh, very nice. So yeah, she thinks uh, it's cool. I don't even know what sort of, what, what type of game this is. Is it just traditional kind of turn-based Final Fantasy, or... it's No, it's not traditional turn-based. It has like action RPG elements to it, so I guess kind of... But it's like a hodgepodge of all the characters. Yeah. I'm kind of whatever about it. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a pass. October 25th. See you in the world of Final Fantasy. No, you won't. Anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's move it on out. Sounds good. We got your, uh, your tight... Your, your totem fall, too. Totem fall, too. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, with the new edition of the grappling hook... Yeah. What the fuck is... Okay, so... I don't know, we, we've, a lot of these we've already kind of covered, so I don't want to, uh, you know, sound redundant or repeat myself, but this does look like somehow it will have that staying power the first one simply didn't. Not because it was a bad game. It was actually really great. Yeah. Thank you for, uh, for giving it for me. Of course. Very nice of you. Uh, but just, it was like, uh, five hours. I don't think I'm going to go back. Like, I feel like I've gotten my fill of it. I had a good time with it, but it's one of those games where you kind of have to pick what kind of what game you want to spend a lot of time in multiplayer wise. Yeah, and that just didn't like grab me as the one I wanted to. Yeah, I but think I was playing that this, at that time. The fact three. that this has a single player mode makes me I'm real excited for it. You've been at story, let me progress, and if it's like Call of Duty, oh, which it and will be swords. Because, yeah, as Pebble points out. It will be similar to Call of Duty. It'll be, that means it'll have a lot of, like, epic set-piece moments. And, uh, right, right. Like, there's the part in the trailer where uh, he's in the Titan, and he gets out of the Titan, and then the Titan grabs him and throws him, like, <clears throat> hundreds of feet, and then he just runs on a wall. I would like my Titan to have a man on the front strapped in playing guitar. Okay. Do you think that will be a possibility? Absolutely. Excellent. All right, well, uh, this is all. you will see this on October 28th. Maybe not. I, I, I don't know what day that falls on. Probably Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. So, yes. It's a week after uh, Battle for the One. Yeah. Once again, I don't really have too much to say on this one. It's like... Fucking... Here... Looks here you cool. go. Yeah. It's... Looks cool. <laughs> Hashtag will play. Yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, so, yeah, moving on. Yeah. Skyrim All right. Uh, fucking... Do you like Skyrim? I don't. Have you I don't not, really have you like not played Skyrim games. before? I've never played it. Do you want to? No, I mean, not particularly. Okay, well then don't buy this. Alright. <laughs> On November 4th, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Ah, uh, Infinite Blur Blur. Yeah, uh... So... Do you like Call of Duty? I do. Have you played it before? I have. Alright, then don't buy this. Wait. November 11th, <laughs> Dishonored 2. Okay, so was, there anything, was there anything you had on this? Not, not really, other than a game... <laughs> This game did a complete 180 on me with excitement and hype from being not excited at all after seeing the first trailer to being extremely excited after seeing the gameplay trailer that was at uh, uh, E3 during the PlayStation press conference. So You're not getting more Skyrim. You're just getting Skyrim. But I tell you, it looks a bit better. I'll tell you what was a bit confusing, though. Uh, <laughs> the uh, president came out, Sean, Sean Layden. Sean Layden came out on stage Professor and said, Layden. And said the PlayStation VR will be three ninety nine and come out on October thirteenth. Let's see some games. And then they showed that one game where you're fighting crabs. And then they showed <laughs> Batman. Yeah. And then they showed Star Wars. And then they cut to a trailer of this, which made it look to me like this game. I was like, oh, this is a VR game because you're using like the grappling hook in space. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 
like darting around and you're like throwing charges and you're killing people with gravity guns and I'm like this looks amazing. And then I'm like oh wait this is Call of Duty because you can tell by like the way the ammunition and stuff yeah looks on the screen. And then I'm like oh shit is Call of Duty in VR? And then the trailer just ends and then they move on to the next thing. It was very confusing. I thought it was VR for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna give this a pass, like like always. Like you do every Call of Duty. Yep. Since the second one. Yep. If it ain't World War Two, it ain't for me. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, moving on to one that uh, I believe both of us will be playing. Yep. Old Dishonored. Uh, Dishonorable. Uh, Dis- uh, Dishonorable Two. I really yes, like sir. the style of the villains in this one. Like, look at those things. <sighs> Terrible. So let's talk about our disappointed boys in the reveal of Corvo's face. Hashtag bummer. Hashtag uh, go fuck yourself, Mister Fi. Hashtag Decibeso. And then they were giving you a bunch of shit because there are posters for that character's face. And like, I never saw All those. through the first <laughs> Dishonored and he looks the exact Like, same. every piece of concept art. Why'd you fucking, show me Koro's face? Every piece of concept you art. You ruined this fucking game. character. Has him with the cool mask on. Yeah. He, he puts... It, you never... So then it's like, apparently it was there the whole time and I'm just a fucking ass. It happens. But, he'll always be that fucking maskless dude to me. If I get it on PC, you're not going to fucking mod it. Just have him with the mask on all the time. Yep. So when he when he when he puts on the mask, he'll be putting on a mask on top of another mask. When he takes it off, just still gonna be there. <laughs> Little did you know, I, I wear two masks for just such an occasion. Hmm. So yeah, <clears throat> Dishonored One was fucking tremendous. Uh, actually watched the uh, SGDQ speedrun of that. Ooh. Which was holy fuck, impressive to say the least. Did they uh, play it silently? What do you mean? Like. Well, see, like, he goes through it so quick, like, no one has time to fucking see him. Like, the blink mechanic, you know, the kind of the teleport mechanic, yeah. is, a uh, yeah, it's really put to, to pretty neat use. Um, I might have to watch that then. Yeah, it, I don't know, what is there to say about this one? If you like the first one, if you haven't played it, play it. If you haven't played off, the first one, play the first one. It's like, it's on pretty much everything, so. It's, it's like no the excuse not spiritual to. successor to Bioshock. That was the Bioshock Infinite tried to be. It's like. Bioshock mixed with Thief. Yeah. Uh, it's fucking great. It looks like they're just kind of iterating on top of what's already there, which is yeah. never a bad thing. Right? And uh, multiple playable characters. You can play as, uh, you can play as your Emily, you can play as your, your Corvo. Now with the face. Because he didn't have one before. Uh, you now know, with more face. Now with three times the faces. This is going to be Bioshock 2. Oh, it I don't think so. It probably will for, be. No, for starters, Bioshock 2 wasn't developed by the team that developed Bioshock 1. And this is developed by the guys who made the first one. And this, like, legitimately looks better. Bioshock 2 just looked like more of the same. True. Uh, I don't really dig on the what looks to be desert-esque environment of it. Mm-hmm. Kind of looks like the town from Aladdin. Right? Agrabah. Yes, uh, Agrabah. Did you see that thing a couple of months ago? Where they put a poll out that's like, uh, should we bomb Agrabah? Like, it was like a poll asked of two Americans, and like 70% said yes. How many people were polled? I don't fucking know. Just, I can't believe, I'm not- Regardless of the poll, it's just, even if it was three people that were polled, and 70% of them said yes, it's still hilarious. Agrabah. (laughs) They're like, ah, it sounds like a Middle Eastern name, so yes. Certainly sounds like we should bomb them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna dead that idol. That place is called Agrabah. I can't even pronounce it. So yeah, we should bomb it. Agrabah. Agrabah. Well, I gotta tell you, it's Agrabah. It's Agrabah. It's yeah, it's Agrabah. the shit out of me. So Agrabah. Major Tom, but that's like Agrabah. saying Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 was good because they had the same crew. No, nobody's saying Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 was good. Nope. Just, just the first one. Fuck the you. first one was really good, though. All right, so uh, look out for this on, uh, of course, November 11th. Uh, I wonder who Googled it. I wonder who Googled I it? I wonder who did. The competitions don't add up. Oh, fuck. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> too soon, too soon. Grant, uh, Grant uh, Forza on PlayStation. There you go. Yep, November 15th. Uh, <laughs> do you like this game? games? I actually do not like these games. The only reason that it's important to hey, note is Grand because Turismo these sell... 3 A spec back on the PlayStation 2 was so cutting edge graphics back then that it was rad as fuck. These games but... sell extraordinarily well. Oh, they do. These are console sellers. Like, people buy consoles. They're like, oh, there's a new Grand Turismo. What can I play it on? I will buy that thing. They're very, 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 very popular. Uh, you will not see that here on Nope, I'm not going to play it. 
I'll be um, playing Forza too much to play but this. Look out for it on uh, November I 15th. Says, another racing game. Sigh. Yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, moving right along to uh, Watch Dogs 2. Uh, I, I cannot explain how much I hate this fucking game. It's not even out. I Everything about it is fucking abs- just abysmal to me. What about its high tops? What about fuck, his shiny fuck his high purple, tops? Fuck his uh, studded jacket. Coat. Fuck this whole like too cool, too punk, too too hackers. It's it it literally is cringy and fucking embarrassing. I can't stand it. Uh, I don't even like. I would literally. It's one of those. This is one of those things. If somebody like gave this to me, I would literally just take it up and go throw it in the garbage. Or I might take a I shit on up. it. Yeah, what no. If I, what if I gifted to you? You better not. Because that's what's going to happen. That's I'm just going up, to bro. put it in the garbage. That's messed up. Maybe it says that message. I don't care if this has 100% lame. Metacritic. It just. I'm going to play it. I'm this, excited for it. This looks like it was made by people who wanted to connect with, like, with today's cool, youth. cool youth people like this. And it's <clears> like, <throat> what the, the fuck? The same is people this? made this, made that uh, child's. Getting cars and coffee commercial. What? That you love cars for kids. Cars for kids. That's what it is. I don't know what I don't know what the fuck they were thinking when they made that. Hey, let's make this really terrible, annoying radio jingle. They should call to this... try to convince people to give away a, their fucking car. Like, that's, see, a, that's a hard sell as it is. I just picture like the creative director for Watch Dogs Two. He's like, <laughs> he comes into the office. He's like, I just can't connect with my kids anymore. They're just so shitty. <laughs> I can't connect. I really, I need to make a game to help connect with me with my All kids. All they do is fly drones around and hack, hack the world. <laughs> they just want to hack the world. They're hacking everything. And I, I just got to connect with them. Let's be- <laughs> I can't, I guess. <laughs> let's, let's make a game where I can connect with my kids again. And they're high tops. There needs to be a character <laughs> with a scrolling marquee for a face. Because he would wear that. Uh, it's a game. This is hashtag the game, but we can't call it that. So we'll call it Watch Dogs Two. I hate this. I piece like that of you're doing that like this. You go this. <laughs> <laughs> How are you mocking me to look up into this guy? I don't. <laughs> I, don't <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's just. Just. <coughs> it's just what it. I feel like that's how it goes. Tears. <laughs> and how the other thing is. I tell my son <laughs> I love him, and he asks for the Wi-Fi password. Why, God? Every day this happens. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Let's keep before, going, baby. Before we move on. Yeah. Please. For the whole cars for kids thing. <laughs> the only reason I've been like, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make a TV or a radio commercial. So horrible. People are going to want to get rid of their cars entirely, so they never hear it again. That's the only only way it could work. And same thing with the Watchdogs. Like, this is like Hitler in the springtime. You know, like from the producers. It has to be. Nothing can look this shitty just, like, organically. This is engineered. You know what I mean? This is like Tommy Wiseau, the room, shitty. I don't know about all that. But, but see, that doesn't work in... Fight people with... But a, that doesn't work in video with games. With a pull cue? Because the, the room is over before you know it. Right? It's an hour and a half. Yeah. This. this you, want to, you want me to play forever. this lame shit for fucking... It yeah. lasts all right. forever. That's not why people came to watch. They want to know about games. Uh, they just don't... I'm going to lose my fucking mind about Watch Dogs 2. Okay. Let's move on. We still got like 10 games to get through. Uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, do you like Pokemon? No. Have you ever played them before? A little bit. They're pretty good. You should play them. Everybody tells are me you, that. Are you interested in playing new Pokemon? As long as I can play as Poplio. All right. Well, you should play it then. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Okay. December 6th. The Fractured Butthole. Yes. I'm excited about this one. I like the whole Civil War thing that they're doing. Where the characters have a civil war, similar to the movie. Yeah, no, it's following the MCU they, pretty well. And all everybody will have different powers. Like somebody will have a speed force power, and maybe like the Batman and stuff like that. I do like the whole. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta let Watch Dogs go. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I definitely prefer the uh, comic book sort of thing over yeah, the, uh, the Lord stuff. of the Rings thing yeah. they had last time. Um, I don't know. I feel like we're fucking petering out on this one. Like, what? Do you like South Park? I do. I think the one thing I do want to touch on <laughs> real quick is the changes in combat. 
So the last one was very similar to like a Paper Mario RPG. Right. This one has grid based combat similar to like a Mega Man. So Battle it's going Network. from Final Fantasy to Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That's actually pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really, really cool. care for the combat in the first one. I found it really just slow. It was it uh, was funny and interesting. Supposedly the farts in this one like can like rip holes in the in reality. Mm. Of course Do they can. Like that. That's awesome though. So. Uh, so do you give it as your uh, game of the year, Mafia Three or South Park? Though I so Mafia far it's probably three. Mafia Three. Over this, over between those two. I like the idea of Texas the boy got me into it. Yeah, we ain't fucking. You're gonna play Watch No, Watch. I was reading fucking Iron goddamn comment about cars for kids. He fucking spelled it out. Exactly what it is. Donate your care today. <laughs> yeah. Donate your care today. Oh. Who the fuck just gives away their car? I don't know. Anyways, fuck you. Um, this is, Look for this on December 6th, yep. right before the on new year. every available platform. If you pre-order it, you get uh, the Stick of Truth on the previous platform, on the current platform that you, whatever you pre-order. Speaking of PC, you get it from of. PC. Yeah. Ankin did a uh, copy and paste something. Uh, you don't get Banjo Kazooie for free. You get uh, Nuts and Bolts for free. Ah! <laughs> Man, who wants that shit? We're moving on. Yeah. To uh, Dead Rising 4. Another game on December 6th. Just very recently became super fucking hyped for this game. Yeah. Uh, since I went and played Dead Rising 3 specifically, and holy shit, that game's fun. Like, the, uh, the, the one simple ability to craft weapons anywhere... Mm -hmm. Just to pick it up and do it, yeah. rather than having to go back to a workbench. Brought this it's really kind of, it's like the room, yeah, like the rug, it tied the room together. You know? Yeah. It's kind of the same thing. Okay. Just going around, there's so many blueprints, I think there's like 115, imagine this will have more. Um, Dead Rising is great. Super stoked for this one. And I do think the whole Christmas vibe of it is going to uh, yeah. be do very well for it. He looks like Negan in this picture from Walking Dead. What did you say? Negan. Oh. You trying to make it a thing? No. But I was like, what the fuck? So, Negan's like a biker dude from... Stop saying that. That's the character's name. Uh, Stop. and he walks around with a bat wrapped in, uh... Okay. So like a... Barbed like, wire. Kind of like a nail bat? Yeah. But barbed wire. Yep. Uh, yes. I've got, uh, nothing more on this. Super fucking hyped. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> it just keeps getting more and more ridiculous, which... This one is coming to Xbox One and... PC on December 6th, and then a year later to PlayStation 4, similar to, uh, like, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Full so, Cult 1877 Cars for Kids. Shut up! Don't Just say donate it! Donate your care of don't. your car today! Just say it. He does have all the white consoles. That's fucked up, Texas boy. No, he's he's got you. Got, got me what? Ribs. <laughs> Get, the fuck out out of Get the fuck out all of Alright, so, uh, Dr. Buck Get says, the... so out of five, I dump my junk car on your front yard, will you donate it to kids for me? What the fuck are you doing? I'm getting you with that five finger death punch. Get the fuck out! You trying to crack my glasses? You better turn to the, the camera. Mouth. You can. <laughs> you... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, look, no. Don't. Right, that's 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 gonna have to be a highlight. I just chunked yeah. him and went. <laughs> and stuff. Right, anyways, it's very mean. So, uh, Tommy stuff, racist. I bet it was the here. shades that caused it. That's fucked up, Jerry. It certainly was. I'm racist against the Scottish. I don't think you can. I'm not I don't really think though. you can really be you that. Can, you can, like, <laughs> you can highlight that out, and it's like this guy is racist against the Scots. This, this just. I'll did. never get to watch Doctor Who season three now. No, he's, he's oh, I get you. I get yeah. it. It didn't make me laugh, but I got it. Give me them ribs. <laughs> you don't like it very much, do you? No, I. I mean, he squirms like a worm. <laughs> All right, uh, Dragon Quest Builders. So uh, okay. we're getting into the ones that don't have release dates. So what is this? Is it's Minecraft? Minecraft with Dragon yeah. Quest. Yeah. So it came out in Japan earlier in the year. Looks pretty good. Look for it somewhere else. October right. 2016, it's coming. This I'm actually super fucking stoked for. Uh, I feel like they're beating Resident Evil to the punch. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, it looks like the, this looks like the same house. Uh, but yeah, no, First Outlast was fucking great. It, um, there's been this huge swell in games that are like, yeah, they're horror, but you can't fight it. You just gotta run, right? Yeah. Uh, Amnesia kind of popularized it. Uh, and after that, there's just been more than you can fucking count, right? Now, the problem is, 
they're fuck. It, that's really played out at this point. Now, the thing that Outlast does good, uh, and the reason why I think this would be good, doesn't have combat, which that's what sets it apart kind of from Resident Evil. Uh, Resident yeah. Evil will have combat. But, so, um, you just run away? No, in this one, you, it's not, uh, it's not like, the games, Outlast, the games aren't set up to where you have an objective you have to fulfill. There's a lot of different ways you can get there, right? So you're in danger of a monster coming at any time. Monster. Yeah, a monster coming at any time. Which, yeah. in Amnesia, it literally is just, it's monster, right? So, in these games, it's more almost like of a haunted house experience. Like, you walk through and everything's scripted. Okay. Right? Uh, that's not a bad thing. Okay. Because instead of like, ah, oh, fuck, monsters here. All right, gotta duck down in this corner and look at the. Can't look at him because it starts to make me go insane or whatever it is. So makes you go insane. And amnesia and other games like that. Like okay. if you look at the mon, if you look at monster, monster it hurts you. So you just stare at the wall. You have to be the little girl to look at it. No, okay. <laughs> fortunately not. You can you should stare at the wall and it's like okay, I think he's <laughs> stare at the wall. No, literally, it's like I think he's gone. All right, now I can get back to what I was trying to do. What? So In this what one, if you turn around and the monster's there? Then he gets you. Oh! And monster yeah. go get you. And you go back to the last uh, last checkpoint. Uh-oh. 38 seconds ago. Fuck. No, but in this one, it, it, everything's scripted. It's it's set pieces. But, like, <clears throat> they're, they're uh, memorable. It's not just, okay. like, a random dickhead appearance of the monster. Hold this on. is Outlast or Amnesia? This outlast I'm referring to. Amnesia you, is the one I'm making fun of right now. What are you doing right now? Alright, monster's gone. Let me let me just get about my business. That's how amnesia kinda works. It's okay. like monsters here, fuck. Wait, do you actually cover your eyes? No, but you can't look at it. So you have to like stare in the corner or something. <laughs> and so you hear it won't go away and then it's like, okay. And it's it, it's it's just a fucking nuisance rather than anything, right? Yeah. These it, it's like it's all scripted, but it it changes so wildly because it is scripted. It's not just the same, oh, what well, monsters here, fuck. Alright, it's way different throughout the entire game. Uh, I don't know it, how it holds up to multiple playthroughs, but uh, for one single playthrough, it's fucking great. And I really, <clears throat> like, you know, Mental Hospital may be overplayed. Yeah. They did it well, but, oh, and uh, fully 3D rendered cocks. Uncircumcised and circumcised, for every taste. In the first one. I'm sure we'll see more in this one. I mean it. Yeah. You think I'm There's joking. There's one on screen right now. You think I'm joking. Oh, wait, that's a uh, pickaxe. Yeah, it's wearing sunglasses. Mm, ribs. Fucking get out of my fucking ribs. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this one, uh, like I said, I really do dig on the whole, um, you know, kind of backwoods, I'm a rapey and eat you sort of, sort of mentality of these people. Uh, I think it's going to work well. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Super stoked for this one. Do not have released it, unfortunately. Uh, Fall 2016. Outlast 2. Yeah. Be there. Or die. I don't give a shit. So, uh, somebody, I think it, I think it was Texas Boy said, uh, this game should be in VR. It should. It, people are pretty much like, oh, Resident Evil 7. Now put old, everything like that in VR. Old backwoods people. Like the whole kind of, I'm gonna rape you and eat you people. You yeah. Know? Kind of the same. Rape you and eat you? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they're gonna get fucked against a tree. Well, Bert, well, Kurt, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Burt Reynolds watches. Okay. Or you're gonna be eaten. Yeah. It's like a Hills Have Eyes kind of thing. They did fucking eat in that movie. Yeah. You're right. And they raped. Well, I mean, fucking. It's like what happened to uh, Oberon Martell's children in Game of Thrones. Uh, I don't. Well, spoiler, man. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, let's see. Bunch of nopes. You know why DKP loves this game? Uh. <clears throat> I defy and uh, like Dave Dagger just flirting with each other. It's cool. Keep, okay. Keep going. All right. Batman Ats. A Telltale series. That Bat Ats. Yeah. So, yeah. Telltale. Doing the Batman thing. Making mm. them decisions with them conversation wheels. And they go, Catwoman will remember that. It's like uh, Alfred comes up to you and he's like, Sir, can I get you some butterscotch candy or a cheeseburger for dinner? Oh, like, how about a grilled cheese sandwich? <laughs> you, you, go, you go, let me get a grilled cheese sandwich. And he goes, Alfred will remember this. <laughs> That's how it's going to play out. <laughs> Can't you see that happening? All right, no, you I, just, you got you to tell that story. I'm not telling that story. No, do it. it it's it's uh, relevant to Batman. It's it's relevant, but it's not that relevant. <laughs> yes, and a story like that has to be delivered a specific way. Just, just, just do your best. 
<sighs> so, uh, <laughs> the new season of Gotham. Yep. I was watching yeah. Gotham today, Jumped trying to finish up, trying to catch up. And Gotham has moments where you're like, wow, this is really fucking good. Any Anytime you see Alfred and Bruce Wayne talking and Alfred's giving him some, like, encouraging words, you're like, this is really fucking good. And then it oh, cuts to scenes know. where there are characters. And if you have caught up on Gotham, don't spoil this, because DKP hasn't caught up yet. There's a character who figures out that they have the ability to uh, uh, convince people to do things, that they tell them to do something and then they'll do it. And how it works is, this character's in prison. And, like, walks up, and it, <clears throat> the guy hands her, like, a tray of, like, prison food. And she's like, here's your you prison really, food. You really want to help me? Go get me a grilled cheese sandwich. And then the guy, like, takes the tray out and walks away and goes and comes back and brings, <laughs> brings him a grilled cheese sandwich. No. He, but, all right, go on. Sorry. No, please. <laughs> I thought that was the back-to-back scene transition that you, that you mentioned earlier. What? It went from the heartfelt, uh... Oh, yeah, so, it, it there's this scene, it, cu- it then cuts to a scene where it shows, like, Alfred having this conversation about Bruce, where he's, where Bruce is like, I'm gonna go to this place and I'm gonna do this thing because it's the right thing to do. And and he, and he's like, you're not gonna stop me. And he's, Alfred's like, you know, I could stop you, um, but I'm not going to because I see something in you that I see, that I can, like, I could see it, like, with what's in your dad. Like you have this, I could see. Like, I could see what's I in could, your dad. I could see. <laughs> I could see what's in your dad. <clears throat> right now. Sorry, see, on. but it's very, it's a very like touching moment, and you're like, yeah, I could see how this guy becomes Batman with a badass father figure like uh, Alfred Pennyworth. Pennyworth. Yeah. So <clears throat> then it cuts back to a scene, and it's this Immediately. dude immediately yeah, bringing bringing this character a cheese grilled cheese sandwich, and then they're like. Why'd you bring me a grilled cheese sandwich? And he goes, I don't know. Because you asked me to? And then they get the grilled cheese sandwich and they start, like, looking at themselves like they're the most powerful creature on Earth. (sighs) The way you were putting it I can command grilled cheese. Your father, get me a grilled cheese (laughs) sandwich. (laughs) (laughs) No, uh, I don't know. I'll be playing this because it's Batman. Yeah. Uh... People have mentioned the uh, Batman VR shit. Yeah. I'm still kind of ass pain. We didn't see any of that. I hear it's amazing. Don't have time to go all the the way to E3 to simply see things. Uh, You know, you can just show it to us. Don't be assholes about it. I defy, did you you ever get busted taking pictures of those girls at Disneyland? Hey, man. Not on Prep Ape. Prep Ape has integrity. (laughs) Really? No. (laughs) Really? We Tom need Rimmier something to right connect to now. the kids. Do they have cheese in Scotland? <laughs> no, everything's just replaced with haggis. <laughs> Bring me a grilled haggis. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing cars driving all lopsided because the wheels are haggis. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like it's like if you picture a car with square wheels, how it kind of. <laughs> 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 uh. Uh, <coughs> yes, it is shit cheese. <coughs> you alright? I'm alright. Just laugh to our... So, got to shit in the wrong pipe that shouldn't have been there. What the fuck are you talking about, says oh, Alex? Okay. He's playing dumb. Moving on. Uh, Batman look looks cool. It, I'm excited look for, for it. it this fall. Yeah, it starts this year. You can PSC, <laughs> you've been to Scott before. <laughs> I Google for a response, I defy. Oh, this was the first thing that popped up. <coughs> Alright, so we got uh, Rise, Rise of the Tomb Raider coming to PS4! I'll finally get to play it. <laughs> Steep! <laughs> coming December 2016. This is the uh, Chainsaw Game of E3. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta hashtag peep the steep, am I right, fellas? You gotta peep the steep. You gotta get it. Uh, why the fuck do they end... God, that Ubisoft conference was such just a shit. And like we get this game, then yeah. Did you like the wing glider in Far Cry? Well, now it's Far Cry wing glider the game. GoPro the game. Yeah, like who gives a shit? Like, did you like pilot wings? Well, this did you is like steep. Skin eighty snowboarding? This is steep. I don't know it. And we're moving on. Yeah, I got fuck that. 
All right, oh, so we're oh! get the uh, new version of Win Stuff Money here. It's uh, it's uncrackable. It's unkillable and subject to change. This hopefully is uncheatable. And subject to change. You, might you try can't it. download might... the PDF for this fucking one. We might, uh... <clears throat> Can you? You can't fucking Google words from what we're saying to find this one, can you? Well, not with that attitude. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> brand new Win Stuff Money. Starting right now. Alright. Tell, tell us the rules? How this so works? yes, we have a video game box art that uh, is behind here. <clears throat> and we are going to be, uh... Removing, let's say, uh, little squares here and there. All the way up until we think it's fucking obvious. Then, uh, once we know it's the last slide, you guys have to fucking battle amongst yourselves. Um, same rules as normal one stuff money applies. You have to, uh, you have to get the exact title, right? Uh, if it's, let's say, Far Cry 3, it's gotta be Far Cry 3. Right? You can't just say, uh, oh, it's, it's Far Cry or something, right? Uh, it has to be that. And uh, apart from that, you get the name of it, you say the name, you win, we send you a 25 dollars on gift card, and uh, you move on with your fucking life. Yep. And, yes, so, you ready for the new and improved win stuff money? Uh, who did the grid? I didn't realize I was OCD. There are a few rows that are up. Oh, uh, straight, J I, J I, did I know. If the grid was off, then you should know very well it was not me that made it. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, are we all clear on the, uh, you know, on the rules here? I think we are. Yeah, it's a box art. We're going to take away some images. First person yep. to type the official name of the game. If you misspell it, that's okay. It's up to our discretion who wins. So, moving right along here. Let's do it. Everybody all ready? Right, uh, you got your first square. Uh, I hope two, you're ready because we're two going. square, three square. Uh, of course, that uh, foreskin. And then ribs. All right, so we're just gonna slowly do them. Let's see, battle toads. Nope. Oof. It's getting up there. That's probably gonna do it. If I had well, to if guess. You, if you, uh, <clears throat> if you give it away like that. All right. Okay. I do believe uh, Mr. Idify has won. But, I mean, this is it about. Count? It's up to our discretion, so yeah. It's literally the name of the game. Yeah. <clears throat> this, was, uh, this was as far as we were willing to take it. But, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja titles. Yeah. So, Idify says TMNT, 8 bit says TMNT NES. And then Idify says Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja. In Texas, boys, it's Pokemon. <laughs> uh, right. And then Zuriella says Turtles in Time. Teenage Mutant in TMNT no, Turtles uh, in Time. That, one's, that, one's, going to, that one's going to Mr. Defy. He did uh, get that correct, in my opinion, first. Yeah, I'm cool. TMNT is acceptable. Uh, not if you were here on stream, you'd have to say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But typing that shit out? Yeah. That's a minefield on Swipe or whatever, you know? Like, yeah. Fuck that. So, of so, course, uh, congratulations, E.D.P. You can now go buy a $25, with a $25 Amazon gift card, you can now uh, buy a new Cameron to take more pictures of women at Disneyland. <clears throat> hey man, want to be there. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, that is the new and uh, improved win stuff money. Yeah. Hope you liked it. Oh, and I, I certainly hope you liked it. Yeah. And <coughs> Sorry. Uh, another big piece of news to talk about. Yep. You want to uh, go ahead Right and... before we do the wrap. Yeah, let's hit it. Chainsafe.com is uh, officially live. Uh, Everybody, pull up your browsers. Go to www.chainsafe.com. Yes. Uh, everything you could ever need, all in one place. It's sexy. It's sleek. Uh, special thanks to uh, Paints by Pixels for this one. Uh, and uh, uh, Valak Valeris. <coughs> yeah, Valak Valeris. Well. The two uh, of them uh, chat name. collaborated on building this. Yes. So. And did a fucking tremendous job. Uh, the TV is like fully interactive. It's fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, it's... It's a real winner, if you uh, you know what I mean, there, right? So yeah, uh, that is it. Definitely yeah. go check it out. Uh, we should be on there like right now. I think if you click on Twitch. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, can't. I'm on mobile. But get off mobile. God damn it.
All right. Uh, so, yeah. so yes, ChainSwipe.com. Big thank you to Painter Pixel and Valicolaris. Valicolaris. You guys did an excellent <clears throat> job. Can I buy ChainSwipe merch on the site? Uh, that Not is yet. coming soon. Yep. Actually. Uh, <clears throat> right after we get business cards to hand off. Yep. I haven't even done that. Uh, me and Jay Digdug were supposed to work on that last night, but she decided to go get coffee with a friend instead. Oh. So, yeah. I went that's, to have uh, uh, beers with a really friend. At, uh... What? Anyways, uh, <clears throat> yep. Moving on to uh, the rap. It's a rap. Yep. So, uh, what do you guys got? Uh, the the wrap-up is, of course, if there's anything else we didn't talk about, but you just want to... Uh, some reason Any games we forgot to mention that are coming out in 2016? You want to ask us uh, why the last Marvel movie sucked? Yeah. You can ask us that now. <clears throat> uh, yeah. 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 Anything at all uh, before, we, before we call it for the evening? Jay Dignog says, bitter like my coffee. Uh, no. I just, when someone says they're going to fucking do something, they should do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, did y'all see the ultimate edition of Batman vs. Superman? Nope. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to watch that movie again. I, I, <laughs> and, and listen, like, I like, we need to fix this. Let's put more in it. No. You need to remove things. Replace things if you So, want. the people I know that like the movie said that the ultimate edition is better. better. People that did not like it said it didn't fix anything and it sucked. No. Uh, Jam so. says, who do you love and who loves you? Uh, I love you, Eddie Murphy, did 7-Eleven. And Jam's out. I love you too, baby. Uh, and who loves you? Uh, Kel, probably. If he likes orange soda, he probably likes Your wife me. loves you. Allegedly. I love you sometimes. I mean, most of the time. Not, not that often. No. But uh, <clears throat> is that serious, Major Tom? What? It has to be because he took off the glasses. Is that serious, Major Tom? Like you become serious, Major yeah. Tom? Been out for a few apps. Stream looks amazing. Website is glorious. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. Thank you very much. much. Appreciate it. Uh, get on that Pokemon Go. Yeah. I don't know if I want to sacrifice my fucking phone battery for that. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of my fucking house, you fucking cut. Well, I'm feeling the love tonight. Yep. Yeah, Guys, well, thank you very much. We all can't much. be Idify. <laughs> Stop it. Anyways, uh, that is it, I guess, for us tonight. Uh, <laughs> nothing else? Nope. So, thank you all for coming. Uh, I hope you found this to be insightful. Uh, I, I hope you found it, uh, you know, we aim to make it entertaining. Uh, <laughs> kids, do drugs, quit school. Um, and uh, donate your cars <laughs> to four-year-olds so that they can get ice cream. You know, children need And then send you cars. pictures. The one spell with K. Oh. Yeah. Donate your... Fuck. I'm out of here. Fuck this. It's turned into a Cars for Kids advertisement. If anyone... We have proof that anyone does anything to aid Cars for Kids. The one spell with a K or a C. <laughs> I don't care. You'll be banned from the street. The first time I read the 18, uh, 1877 for Cars, I thought it was 1877 Cars. And I was like, those are just horses. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Those are just horses, though. <laughs> there weren't many cars in 1877. You sure about that? Okay. When did cars get invented? Like, Somebody donate Google your it. steam engine today. <laughs> <laughs> donate your horse to a child. <laughs> All right, we're, we're, we got to get out of here. Oh, shit. Man. What? One more thing? Yeah. Uh, you know who has to take it away, babe? Major no, I'm Tom, uh, that was lame. <laughs> I'm, I'm Major Tom. DKP. Texas boy, you the real MVP. All right, we're out, boys. See you. Uh, see you tomorrow. Take it away, Big Tyrone. I know what all of you are thinking. You're thinking, "Wow, these guys are great. I want to see them every chance I can get. If only I knew where to find them." Well, I have great news. You can follow them right here on Twitch. Legend has it that they are also on YouTube and Twitter, all at Chainsaw Ape. Check out the Twitch panels for links the streaming schedule, and also, don't forget to tune in every Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time for Preparation Ape, the live gaming talk show slash podcast for your chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card. It's a real pizza, mate. 
All hail DKP, Zod is a bitter, and Donkey Kong Country 3 is the best Donkey Kong Country. I still have some time to kill here. I paid for it after all. This is the Chainsaw Ape Show. It's not the Ape Chainsaw Ape Show. This is my favorite show, and it's not my show. But seriously, folks, we've had a lot of laughs tonight. But let us not forget what is important here. It's never ogre. Chainsaw Ape is love. Chainsaw Ape is life. Well, until next time, my name is Major Tom, P.S. at ID57. Go forge your mother, man! <laughs> P.P.S. and Jamzo, your accent suck. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,